What's up everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're gonna to talk about hidden MMR, also known as hidden matchmaking rating in Valorant. I got to interview senior dev at Riot, Mr. Evermore, and he helped me understand how their system works, how they determine how much ELO you gain and lose from a game of Valorant. And he also gave me a few tips on how to improve it so you can gain more ELO and rank up faster. Without further ado, welcome to the video. So let's start by talking about what is MMR and why do we have it? MMR is your hidden matchmaking rating. It is the rank that the game truly believes that you are. The MMR system is a ladder system where if there's a million players on Valorant, there's a million rungs to this ladder where no two players can be on the same rung at any time. As you play through the game and progress, you either go up or down the ladder depending on the enemies you face and how you play against them. Evermore actually gave a good example of this. So let's say you're plat 2 in MMR and plat 2 in rank. Let's say you have a bunch of games against other Plat 2 players and you win, but barely. Games like 13-11, 14-12, 13-10. If you happen to go on like a 5 or 10 win streak, there's a good chance you'd rank up to Diamond because you win streaked and that's how RR works, your rank rating. But because your MMR hasn't had time yet to adjust to Diamond, you haven't beaten enough Diamond players, you haven't fragged, you had unlucky games where you bottom fragged, the MMR doesn't think you're ready for diamond yet. It will try to push you back down, giving you, you know, plus 10 wins, minus 20 losses until you actually won enough matches that helped push your MMR up. This is why players get the feeling of hard stuck because MMR is a very sticky system and requires a lot of playtime in order to change the game's perspective on your rank rating. Now there's two MMRs actually. There's an encounter MMR and there's your win-loss MMR. The encounter MMR system is really prevalent in lower ranks and it accounts for your KD, bomb plants, site utility, time alive, who you're killing, all these things are played into your encounter MMR. That's all about your individual performance in the game. In higher ranks, technically people are supposed to be better and that aim is normalized and then game sense and team play are the reasons you win games and those are prioritized which is why the win-loss MMR system takes over although it is always in play even in the lower ranks just not as significantly but once you get to immortal about 90% of your MMR is going to come from win-loss so let's take a look here at my competitive career as you guys can see I'm gaining between 15 and 17 RR per win but I'm losing between 19 and 23 RR and now if you look here at my tracker you can see that my MMR is quite bad i'm net positive 12 games this act i have a 53.4 percent win rate and i'm only up 52 rr right now 52 rr for 12 wins that's not even 5 rr difference per win but I'm not blaming the game for this. Let me explain to you guys why this happened. It's because of the win loss and round differential MMR. As you can see, the games I'm winning are pretty close. You know, they're 13, seven, 13, 10, 13, nine, but the games I'm losing are 13, five and 13, seven. For the sake of the math for this, let's just say that I win games on average 13-9, but I lose games on average 13-6. Now, the math behind this is super easy. So we said that I win games 13-9 on average with a four round differential. That means 78 times four equals 312. That's at about a 312 positive round differential so far this act. However, we also said that I lose games 13-6 and that is a one, two, three, four, seven round differential. So if I've lost 66 games at a seven round differential, that's 462 rounds on a loss differential. 462 minus 312 from before is 150 net rounds of I've lost this act so far. Meaning that my win loss MMR right now is in the negative. While I am up RR from winning games, my hidden MMR is holding me back because I'm actually net down rounds this act. Even now knowing how the fundamentals of MMR works, it's not a very easy thing to change. If you're in the lower ranks like Ascendant and below, you're gonna have to focus on your individual performance. What this means is up to you. Do you have mechanics issues? Do you have game sense issues? Do you not know how to use your utility? Are you in iron and your, your monitor doesn't turn on? But at the end of the day, your focus is individual performance. Now, if you're in immortal and above, you have to focus on win loss. And unfortunately, there's so many factors with that. But the one tip I can give to any ranked player that wants to better their MMR, it's that you're gonna have to queue with someone at your rank or below. When you're in lobbies that are supposedly technically easier for you, you're going to be able to frag more and win loss more. And when you are 
are winning at least, you're gonna have a bigger rank differential. This is why five stacking right now on alt accounts is a very, very, very viable way, unfortunately, to rank accounts up. But beyond those things, the only other tips I can really give is just don't throw rounds ever. Whether you're up 10-1, 10-2, what does it doesn't matter. Every round counts because in the grand scheme of things, you're hurting your RR by throwing those rounds. Well, that about wraps things up for this one. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like and preferably subscribe to the channel. I'm new on YouTube and every little bit of support goes a long way. I appreciate your time and I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. And you know what? I'll see you guys in the next one. Do it big, but then see I got oversized. Need that will, mad black with suicides. I won't miss it. I put on a time for it for you, for you. I remember days I couldn't afford you. Now we hit a double.